blade and quill. Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing our journey in the toolbox. So far, we have covered uh, the selection tools, the five modes of the transformation tool, and today I would like to talk about the assistant tool. Since the instrument offers uh, several options, I will focus uh, in this tutorial on the first three types of assistants. This way I will make sure that I don't miss anything. So let's get started. To get to the assistant tool, you will need to click on this icon located between the paint bucket and the measure tool. Let's start by a quick overview and then I will analyze and demonstrate each parameter and control buttons. When you click on the assistance icon, a new set of actions appears in your tool options docker. If you click on the little arrow on the side of the box add, you will see the list of assistants that are available. Today we will study the ellipse, the concentric ellipse, and the fish eye point. The slider that you see here will allow you to increase or decrease the opacity of your assistant. As usual, you can type a number directly inside the box, or you can use the arrows on the side to make more precise changes. This box will allow you to change the color of your assistant. As a quick reminder, you can choose a color from the already existing palette of colors right here. You can create your own color using the rainbow window. And please don't forget to use the slider on the side to make your selected color darker or lighter. You can use a color picker and select a color that may be already on your canvas, or you can go to the color wheel it is uh, all your preference. Finally, you can use the custom colors that you may have already created and saved here. If you have several assistants on the canvas, you can customize the color of each of them by checking the custom color box. To do so, first, Click anywhere on the control box of the assistance to make it active, then click on the custom color box and choose a color. Repeat for each assistant that you have on your canvas. This icon will allow you to load saved assistants. This one will allow you to save assistants. And finally, this one will erase all of the assistants presence on the canvas. Think of the assistants as your little helpers to help you draw without any efforts, circles or straight lines. There are several important things you need to know before you start using any of them because each assistant was created a bit differently. As I said earlier, there are several types of assistants and they are all located right here in the tool options docker. To add any of the assistants, select a type from the tool options and begin clicking on the canvas.
you are not restricted to use one assistant at a time. You can create as many as you want and as many different ones as you want. For instance, here we are going to create one ellipse. Then we're going to make another one, a different size. And here we're going to add a ruler and another one here. Now that the assistants have been laid out on the canvas, go to your free brush and using the brush of your choice with the size of your preference, you can start drawing on the assistants. Before the start, in the Tool Options Docker, make sure to check the box called Snap to Assistants. Now that you are done, the only thing you need to do is go back to the Assistant tool and click on the Erase All to get rid of the assistants. Not only can you create one or several assistants on the canvas, but you can also edit and remove them as well. To do so, use these additional controls. Click on this one to move your assistant around the canvas. Click on this one to decrease the opacity of your assistant. However, here you will notice that the points did not get more transparent, only the lines. To decrease the entire assistant's opacity, use the slider located here. To erase your assistant, just click on this icon. If you click on the canvas by accident and a new assistant starts showing up, just hit the escape button to get rid of it. You can save and load assistants. To save this set, just click on the save icon and save it. To load your saved set, just go on the load assistant set icon, select your set and click open. So basically, you can reload any sets at any time on any new canvas. This particular assistant will help you draw oval curves, also named ellipses. When you create it, you will see three points. The first two are the axis of the ellipse. And the last one is to define its width. To create a perfect circle, press the Shift key while holding the third handle. Now let's go to the brush and draw around our circle. Here, as you can see, I can only draw on the circle and that's it. This one functions just like the ellipse. But here, it also allows you to make ellipses that are concentric to each other. Meaning that you can repeatedly draw different ellipses of any sizes, one after the other in a series. Let me show you.
Now you don't have to draw all around your circles. You can use these uh, tools to create, uh, for example, the sound waves. So here we have our famous Eiffel Tower, or like we say in French, La Tour Eiffel. Make sure to start on the layer above the Eiffel Tower. Go and get the horizontal mirror tool and place it at the center of the tower. Open the assistant and choose the concentric ellipse. Draw your ellipse. Now decrease the opacity by using the slider button. Go to your free brush and select uh, the brush and uh, the size that you need. And now draw waves on one side. The mirror tool will copy what you are doing on the other side. Now the only thing we need to do is go back to the assistant tool and click here to erase all the assistants. The fish eye works in sets of three. You have to create first one horizontal fish eye, then you have to create on the top of it a vertical fish eye, and then to all of this you are going to add vanishing point. Let's start. So first we are setting out a the horizontal fish eye perspective. Make it as big as you need. Change its color to purple. and decrease the opacity by typing 30% in the opacity box. Draw a vertical line in the middle and set your vertical fish eye perspective on the top of the horizontal one. Now to not get confused, go to the customize color box and check it. And we are going to make uh, this uh, assistant green. Now that we can see which one is which, we can move and resize both shapes to try to make them uh, match on the top of each other. Let's get the vanishing point. Change uh, the color to black. And now click at the very center of the two shapes. A bunch of lines will appear. Decrease the opacity of the vanishing point. We are now ready to draw. Go to your brush and make sure the snap to assistant is checked as usual and start drawing.
So we are done for today. I will see you next week and we will look at the other uh, assistants. So have a great week and uh, don't forget to practice. I'll see you next time. Bye.